Right, hello and welcome again. Um, I've decided to make some Xcode tutorial videos. Um, so in this video I'm going to be going through and detailing how to build a very basic drum sampler. I'm going to be going a little bit into the coding behind it as well as actually explaining what's going on. But overall you should be able to still build the app if even if you haven't got a clue about the code to be honest because I'm going to give you all the code um, the only thing you're going to need is the samples, but like I said, it's quite easy to get hold of drum samples. There's so many free drum samples on the internet, and you can use whatever drum samples you want. To be honest with you, you don't even need to use drum samples. So I've just built and run my app. Um, as you can see, I haven't really, you know, gone a lot into the, uh, you know, making it look nice, but it, functionality, it works fine. So we'll hit start, and there we go. As you can see, it automatically played you a kind of intro, very basic drum beat. Um, um, so let's just, you know. Pretty cool, I'm quite happy with that. So let's go to quit. So we've quit our app. Right. So let's get on and build it because we'll be here all day. So I'm going to go File, New, New Project. So if you've just opened Talai, I will show you what happens if you actually have just opened Xcode. Um, just to let you know, I'm in Xcode version 4.2, which is not the most recent it is one behind, but this really is tutored at 4.2 because 3.2 does some very strange things and to be honest with you it's just old, just upgrade to the newest one so let's, sorry, let's close down what I've got open as well go away okay, so now we can start Xcode properly so let's fire up Xcode okay, this is what will happen when you open it to start up, so I want to go create a new Xcode project okay, so it's now loading, um, you have loads of templates there to choose from but the only thing, what we're going to be working is a single view application, so hit next um, and we're going to be choosing a name for our product, so let's call it Drum Sampler happy days, um, we want to make sure it's for the iPhone, I'm only going to use the iPhone for this tutorial you, we want storyboards and we also want automatic reference counting make sure these are included, just because you know that's what I'll be using in this tutorial, so hit next again um, choose how to save it um, I need to change my name, sorry, because I've already got one called Drum Sampler. So Drum Sampler 2. Happy days. Create. Okay, so that is now created. Let's maximise our workspace so we can, you know, work in full screen. The first thing to do is we're going to add two new frameworks to our project. Frameworks are essentially libraries of code that allow us to do certain things with the app. We want one for the audio, so we're going to just click on the little add symbol and go to audio. Okay, so in audio we need to find audio toolbox and click add. That's all we've got to do. That's added that to the project. And we also need to add another one called quartz. Which is just hiding itself away. There we go, quartz core. Add that one. Okay, so we now have two of them. Now let's just sort this out and make it a bit more tidier. So we'll drag these two and put them in frameworks, just to make it look a bit tidier. Right click on the this little symbol, uh, this part of the navigator here, and hit new file. We want to add a UI view controller subclass because we need to have two classes for this program. So we're going to add that and click next. And then we're going to call this the actual drum sampler class. Okay? Um, make sure it's a subclass of the UI view controller and click both of those off. We don't need either of those. Okay, create them. Okay, so we now have two new classes. By the way, if this menu here isn't actually open, if you press command and one, it will open it up like that. And if, it's, you still, if you can't see it to start with, if you go up to your editor up here, then you can see there is a um, view. Make sure the two side tabs are open, like that, and that will allow you to see it. should have probably explained that to start with, but hey, there we go. Right, one more thing we want to do is right click on this again and go new group, and we're going to call this group um, sat drums, drum samples. Okay, so we've now added, we've got our sample, a, a, a group for our samples, and while we're at it, I'm going to now drag in my samples. So. In my finder, I have four samples, so we're going to need drag them straight into drum samples. Um, make sure you copy the items into the destinations group folder. Okay, that just includes them in the bundle. Then, so they're easy to find. There's our samples. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our storyboard, which is what we're going to basically use to view our app. So this is our this is our initial storyboard. This is where what we'll see when the app's launched. So let's add a few things. So the first thing we want to do is add a label. A label, drag, there we go, behaving itself today. And we're gonna call this welcome to my to my sampler. No, I'm not called that, we'll just call it drum machine. Okay, it's gone off the edge of the page, but I'll put it back to the menu. Okay. 
okay, just a line in the center, and we want one button, a round rectangle button called start. Okay. Once again, if this isn't open here, just click it open on here basically, once again, and then make sure you're in objects. So that little one, that objects, and then there's all sorts of cool things. While we're in objects, we also want to drag out another view controller. So let's drag it out. Okay, this is our second view controller. This is what the drum sampler will be controlling. Sorry, Xcode behave. Okay, um, so what we want to do now is go to the this symbol here and click on size and make sure that it's a full screen size. Okay, orientation, we want this to be landscape and we want to remove the status bar, which is that little annoying thing at the top. It just looks, makes it look professional. Okay, so now we want to get from this screen to this screen. So what we do is we, hit, we hover over start, holding control and drag it and that should appear. Okay, make sure it's modal, not push. Okay, um, let's just change the transition. So if you click the actual sort of the, the arrow that's come between the two, this should pop up once again and make sure you click on style modal and transition let's just do a cross dissolve okay so let's let's set up our second view we want to all we want to do now is change the background color for the minute let's just change it to be i don't know a nice little blue that's what i had in the original one um, we want to add a label okay this will actually be set later so we want to call, just type in label will be set later so just take a word for it, we'll be setting this later. Okay, so that is all we want to do in Storyboard for the minute. Um, oh sorry, one more thing we want to do is we want to add a quit button, okay, just to quit the app. So what we're going to do is type in quit, okay. So that will quit the app when we don't want to see it anymore. Um, okay, so we've set up um, all we need to do in Storyboard. Sorry, the one last thing we need to do, click on the view controller here, and then go on to the third icon along, and this is the class. Now what a class is, is it's basically the blueprints of um, the instructions to run this view, if you like. So we want to change it to be drum sampler, because that's what we're going to use to control it. Okay? Remember, drum sampler is what you should have called it up here. So let's head into drum sampler. Right, now this is where we're going to declare variables for this class, as well as functions to control elements in the class. So we want to open up the code braces and let's add our variables. So the variables we're going to need is an ns string called, let's call this um, sampler name. Okay, that's done. Um, we also want to add a timer, ns timer, and we're going to just call this start timer. We want to add a label, so we want to type in ib outlet ui label, and we want to call this label um okay sampler name label that's now set um we also want to add quite a few more things ib outlet ui button and we want a selection of buttons so we are going to type in um sample buttons I open the open a square set of braces and type in four okay so what we've done is create an array of buttons because we want four buttons in this case um Sorry, I've been a plonker. You may need to make sure you put the asterisks to declare it as a pointer rather than just a normal variable. Okay, so I've just set all those up. Um, a few more basic things. Int sample is another. Um, sorry, do we need that? No, we don't need that. What am I doing? We want int um, seek count. Keep it short. Okay, that's all the variables we're going to need for the minute. So let's go down and add all our functions. Hit a few spaces, make a few spaces. Right, so the first thing we want to do is actually make a function that's going to initialize our buttons. So we're going to call this one, we're going to open up this, void. So void basically means this first bit here is what we're going to be returning um, from a function. And we're not returning anything because we're just setting up the buttons. So we're going to call this um, int, in, sorry, init for initialize buttons. And once again, it's not you're not sending anything other than just, just you know, just calling the function, not sending any information. So you don't do anything, okay? That's our first function set up. Now, we also need to have another function, which is another void function called receive sample number. Okay. Um, once again, we need another function called, uh, let's think about this, uh, another void function, which is our intro function. Um, that's just, this is what makes, at the start of the app, if you remember, it played us, you know, four notes, boom, 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 just played the four samples, and that's what that function does. Okay, we also want a play sample function. Now this is slightly different because what we need to do is write play sample and this is actually going to be sent an int. So we need to open up brackets, type int sample number. Okay, 
Um, sorry, we need to change our receive sample number because this is actually what um, we need to. This is what is going to be um, set as the action of the buttons when they are pressed down. So we need to send this to be IB action. Okay, change the selector to be receive sample number, and then we'll just delete this all on the end. We need to put sorry, open brackets ID sample because it's being sent an object which is ID. Okay, a uh, couple more things void. Quit, and I think we're done. Initialize sample, receive sample number. Uh, sorry, I'm just quizzing myself here. I think, I think I've. Let me just check what I did before. So I've got like a little, you know, as they say in Blue Peter and Places programs like that. I have. Well, I should have. Where's my text edit gone? Oh, I've lost it. It's disappeared. Sorry about all the tabs I have open. I'm very messy when I work. Okay, I've lost it. <laughs> I did have a, a big notepad with many, many, all the code I had before so I could look at it for referencing, but I'm pretty sure that's all we need. Okay, so let's go. Um, so for now, that is the end of this half of the tutorial. Um, in the second half, I will be writing out all this code to program it, basically, which is in the method folder. Oh, sorry, method of the class. So join me back in part two, and I'll be showing you the rest of the app. So hopefully see you again. Cheers.